friends, Audrey here, the fit, fearless, and faithful mom. Welcome back. If it's your first time joining me, welcome. Hit that subscribe button, tap that little notification bell. I talk about fitness, being the fearless daughter of Christ, homeschooling, I'm a homeschool mama, and, uh, and more, obviously faith. So welcome to my channel. Today, we are talking about the church bag. All right, so I got a question from an old friend and she was asking like, hey, what do you do in church? What have you done for all of your kids? So I'll go through our church bag. We really don't use it anymore because Corey is almost three. We stopped bringing our church bag. I think it was on our road trip because we're like, we're not packing a church bag for the road. So we kind of just stopped. First things first is food. I have goldfish here, some of these veggie straw things. And I used to bring Cheerios. And I got this idea from my mom because she said that she used to do this with my sister and I. We would not be allowed to have food until church time. So that's the same thing that I did with my kids. And what I would do is I would have snacks that were only for Sunday. And so it would be kind of like a treat for them or you know i'd bring like a little pancake for them a little butter to soften it allowed to put their hand in the bag at all i would hold the bag and they would kind of fuss but i would tell it like no we are not opening snacks until we have said the opening prayers of mass and then we sit down for the first reading it took a little while to kind of groom them to that i would give them a bottle or you know I'd give them like a little sippy cup for a minute before giving them this again they were not allowed to hold this at all once the first reading happened I would sit them on my lap and I would open this bag and feed them one goldfish or one cheerio one at a time and if they try their hand in I say no 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 and so after that then it groomed them instead of them grabbing a whole like handful and spread out their snack all the way into almost the homily so then you're almost halfway through mass and they're still eating their snack. Now, sometimes they would eat their snack straight through the homily. What I would also do is snacks were not eaten when we would stand up. Okay, time to put it down now. The gospel reading, obviously, like no snacks, which is another way that it would retch out and kind of keep them contained and calm. So once they were done snacking, um, we do have the St. Joseph's Bible. We'd sit there and I'd pay attention to the mass or sometimes I'd silently read to them. So, you know, I'd, I'd open it up and say like, okay, let's like name the animals, where's God? And we'd point to it, we'd point to it together. I'd do this during consecration. Um, consecration is typically the time when I'd really want them to stay quiet. Um, if they were super antsy that day, I would take them to the back of the church and, you know, not outside unless they really were acting up. If you have a back area, walk your child there during consecration. This is one of the, the books that we have in our bag. I do have like a little doodle pad for them and I would take a pencil, which actually one of the churches here, they have what's called pew art. They have these little cards and pencils that are in the pew. And so the kids during mass can take them out and like doodle on them. We have had a subscription to Magnificid. Um, if you have a reader or an up and coming reader, these are great. I have kept old ones and I've been bringing old ones with us to mass. Uh, Kyler really enjoys, she really enjoys these. So I'll link these below, but I always keep the old ones. I don't see a reason to get rid of them, but they're pretty cool. They've got little activities on them. So they're not, I don't allow them to do the activities um, in mass. Now, even if you have a younger little, these are still really nice because it's something for them to look at that's faith filled. I do have another Bible in here that they can look at. It has some different illustrations. Again, like it's something else for them to look at. It's something else that's colorful. So it's really nice to have some different options. This is totally not biblical, but Co Corey used to love looking at it. It's an animal world book. I know it has nothing to do with the mass, but it did keep her quiet and it's God's animals. So always would bring this. And I have been known. Yes, I used to have a Ninja Turtle book in my bag. Maybe I should not have brought that because it has nothing to do with God, but it used to be in our diaper bag. 
there's some honesty for you. And if all else fails, if you have some books that you've exhausted, you've exhausted your food, Jumbo's color books. If you have a texture book or something with texture, that also really works. So this is some of God's animals as well that you can go through and there's textures on here that your child can feel. Okay, we have a dinosaur who ha has been wrapped in headband for some reason that's in here. So I can give this back to the kids. I have another book, little beanbag hacky sack thing. A phone in case you wanna call God from mass. I don't know. These are awesome. These are touch and feel farm picture cards. I really like them a lot. Texture thing. Um, just like with the food, I didn't allow them to touch them. We would go through them one at a time and then I would have them put them back in the box one at a time. So it's kind of the same concept as the food, like one goldfish at a time, one veggie straw at a time, and so on. This is one card at a time. And so we'd go through it. And what would also take up some time is what is this chicken? Color is the chicken. And we do that too. There is texture on these. So here is the goat. It's really soft. And so you can feel it just like a goat. And I'm sure this is not good anymore, but I just found a cheese stick in here. Um, so that's kind of gross. <laughs> throw that away. <laughs> All right, I hope that was super helpful. As a recap, I'm not a huge fan of the cry room. Sometimes it's a benefit, most definitely. But I don't know, keep your kids in church. Like keep them there because we want our kids to learn the math. Sometimes it's necessary to take them out for a little bit. When I was listening to one of Father Josh's podcasts one day, it was a listener question. Do I put my kid in the nursery? Do I keep my kid in mass? Keep your kids together with you. This is a, a total side note, I guess, but keep your kids in mass with you because I kind of feel like the nursery breaks up the family a little bit. Like we should be going to mass together, stay together. And it's really hard. It, it definitely is someday. Like I, here's a little fun fact and some honesty by myself at mass. And cause there was a time when I did go to mass by myself and I don't, Corey was not born yet, but I was with Corbin and Kyler. Kyler would not sit still. Corbin was acting up completely and I was really frustrated and I actually walked out of mass and I started walking to my car and and as soon as I unlocked my car and I was about to open my door um I got the feeling I heard go back inside it's like they're kids relax like why are you leaving in the middle of mass like calm yourself down so I don't know if anyone's ever felt like that if you've ever done that like just gotten so frustrated at like your kids aren't sitting down and you're trying to do the right thing and you're you're trying and it's it can be really frustrating some days but like hang in there because as soon as you know it like they'll be just sitting next to you and it'll be it'll be all over but you know like keep your kids in mass so anyway okay so back to it get some snacks do those one at a time I never gave snacks when we would stand up that's the way that I conditioned them so that it was something to look forward to because we have that almost animal instinct where we want to be conditioned in some ways and we like a schedule. That's my feeling. I like that. I have some books ready. I'll link these books below if you want. I hope it was helpful. Um, if it was, give it a thumbs up. If it wasn't, don't give me a thumbs down. Okay, look, if you give me a thumbs down, you have to tell me why. You gotta tell me why. So comment below on what you have in your church bag. Um, if you have questions or you want me to expand upon it, let me know. And always remember to stay fit, stay fear less and stay faithful. If I can pray for you in any way, please let me know. Comment below, send me an email, and I hope that you have a wonderful day, wonderful week with your family. God bless. Cheers. Mm -hmm.